go. So she gives them the first word, go, and then she's drilling them again in a very natural kind of way. Tattoo. Tattoo. So I think for, for most people, for most teachers, when it comes to presenting language to a class, the, the classic way, the default way is to just write the word on a board and then just sort of expect the learners to, to know what that word means and, and how we can use it, yeah? We're going to look at an alternative way of presenting language from an expert. So in this class, students are going to listen to a song and Laura needs to pre-teach them a set of vocabulary in order to be able to do that well. Right, what about here? What can you see here in this picture? Okay, so she's shown an image, doesn't say what it is, and she's asking the general question of what do you see? Hopefully the words that they say, uh, Laura can latch onto and narrow in. Let, let's see what the learners say in response to this picture. Good, very good, but stronger than an agreement. When two people get married, they say, I do, I, do. I will do things, I will be good, da, da, da. they make a... Promise. Very good. Narrowing in, right, she's stronger than an agreement. And then she uses her mouth, and then as soon as she does that, the learners are, ah, promise. And now, what does she do with the word promise? Let's see. Promise. Promise. So when two people get married, they need to keep the promise, right? Keep a promise. If they don't keep a promise, we say they... Broken. Very good, but um, not broken, but bre break. Very good. So we often say keep a promise. We often say break a promise. And she's trying to elicit that from the learners in order to build upon uh, this isolated word of promise and expand their knowledge, uh, basically, about this word. Break. Which one's good to do? Keep a promise? Keep, keep, keep. Very good. Which one is good to do? This is a really good concept checking question or CCQ. Uh, and you want to continuously do that after each uh, presentation of any new word that you've introduced because it really consolidates uh, what the learners have understood from what you've just taught them. So again, keep a promise. Keep, keep, keep a, a promise. promise. Break a promise. Break, Break a promise. Uh, Michelle, can you try? Keep a promise. Very good. And Jody, can you try this one? Break a promise. Very good. Break. Break. break a promise. Break a promise. Instead of separating it into its three parts, break a promise. Instead, she said it in a much more natural way, like you and I would say it. Connected the k from the break to the uh of the next word. So it sounds more like break her promise. Break her promise. Break her promise. Break a promise. Break a promise. Very good. Very good. What do you think has happened here in this picture? Another picture, another elicitation question. Try and put it in the present. Lost is past. I want the present. Very good. Good. How do you spell that? Good. So you say you can lose something, right? You can lose a key, for example. Like lose... Lose. Yeah, I've done this before. <laughs> what else can you lose? Okay, so you can lose something. You can also lose... Again, that parallelism, some. lose something, lose some... Very good. So some. To make the, the gap a bit shorter for them. Someone. That information yeah. gap. Good. What about these guys? Oh. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Do you think they've been together for a long time or a short time? Long time. Long, long time, right? Long, 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 long. So we can say they have stayed together. Stay, 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 stay. Stay. Yeah, yeah. Lots of, stay. lots of CCQs, lots of 50-50s here. When you're asking a question to check that the learners have understood something, the, the more binary it is, the, the better it is normally. So here, what Laura's done, is they say, if you stay together, are you together for a long time or a short time? That's a really good example of a 50-50 question because there's only two options there and only one of them 
is the right answer and they're opposites. If you stay together, do you ever separate or do you always stay together? Always stay together. Good, good. So they've been together for, I can say, a lifetime. Good, good, good. What about here? What can you see? Mm -hmm. Leave it all. Try and use the word go. Go. She's giving them some clues, right? So she gives them the first word, go, and then she's using body language to show them, is it come or is it like away, right? Let's see if they get it. Go, go. I heard it over here, go. So they're almost there. She gives them the first letter. I heard it, good. Go away. Really good. So that's like another way that you can elicit, right? By doing the first there, letter, right? prompting them out, and seeing if they get it there as well. Away. Very good. Very good, Via. It's a record. 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 Oh, I like what she's done there as well. She's marked the stressed syllable because the student said home? record, like the verb instead of record, right. like the noun, which is what Laura wanted here. So marking that stress with a circle, really good, really good way. Visual representation of stress. Pencil. Yeah, the, the print on the skin is a... Pencil. Say it again. Pencil. Sasu, yeah. Sasa. Sasa, sorry. <laughs> Tattoo. 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 And she's done Tattoo. the stress syllable again, the visual with the circle on Tattoo. So you say he has a... She's given them a sentence stem so that they can complete it by using the same word again so that she can, again, check that they know where the stress is. Tattoo. Tattoo. Two sounds. Stress is on the second. Tattoo. tattoo. Good. Tattoo. I have a tattoo and my husband has a tattoo. We have the same tattoo. Nice. She's bringing in some personal aspect into this word as well. That's always really good. It's the same. It's a heart. Oh. I have a heart and he has a heart. Emotionally engaging them is always a really okay. good idea. So they're the same. So we can say they are matching. 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 So this is really good because she's linking matching. her personal experience to the actual word that she wants to teach them as well and using a different colour to denote that collocation aspect from before. We more often than not say matching tattoos, which is why matching tattoos has a stronger correlation than say, uh, we have identical tattoos. Good, so matching tattoos, do you have the same tattoo? Yeah. yeah. Same. Same. Good. CCQ, concept checking Does question again. Does have a matching tattoo? Yeah. Just me. <laughs> Good, okay, so one more time. Okay. Good. So now we're reviewing the words again with the images. You can also have. I heard Sasa say it earlier. You can also say make a promise. So that's really good as well. So She's including words from the actual learners, and she's making it part of the the core uh, word set here. You're making a promise. Keep a promise. Keep a promise. Keep a promise. Break a promise. Trilling them again Break in a very natural promise. kind of way. Lovely, lovely. Good. Lose. Lose someone. Lose, Lose something. For example. Yeah. So do they break apart if they stay together? Good example of another concept checking question, CCQ there. Nice and Good. quick. So Only yes or no. No. Right, yeah, because they stay together, right? Go away. Go away. Go away. Using the same body language, away, away. Get away. Get away. Get away. Good. Uh, you can try. Get away. Get away. Very good. Uh, Helen, you try. Very good. And uh, May, can you try? Really nice, natural sounding pronunciation from the learners here because of Laura's very a... natural modelling. That's, that's really good. Record. 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 Record player. Record player. All of these words are in the song. 
So this technique thing that Laura used to present language is useful literally whenever uh, you've got like a set of words to teach students. The summary part, the reason why she was able to go so quickly was because they had internalized that language really, really well as a result of her teaching it systematically, um, eliciting it with an image, pronouncing the words in a very natural kind of way, and then also asking relevant short binary CCQs to cement that information. Really good. So you can see there's nothing really complicated about presenting language well. Um, it's more about applying the same principles and techniques consistently.